Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist Marcos. It's right around 1 o'clock, and you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing cloudy skies. The current temperature is 62 degrees, and it appears to be a perfect day to stay inside and relax. Tonight, and leading into early morning, you could expect to see rain and cloudy skies. As always, have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to you in the studio. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Annie, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about composite figures. We learned that to find the area of a composite figure, we need to split it into two simple shapes. Another thing we learned is that when finding the area, you need to use different formulas. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to the studio. Good afternoon, everyone. Today's survey question was, what is your go-to source for music? Based on 67 survey responses, 37.3% of the students said their go-to source for music was YouTube. 299 chose Spotify, while 22.4% chose Apple Music. Amazon Music, XM Radio, and Traditional Radio rounded out the remaining votes. Thank you to everyone who participated in today's survey, and let's take it back to you in the studio. When I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer. When I grow up, I want to be a zookeeper. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a Fortnite streamer. When I grow up, I want to be a basketball player. I want to be a soccer player. When I grow up, I want to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be a dancer. When I grow up, I want to be a tennis player. Hello, my name is Dave Aish. Welcome to True or False. Today's topic is sports. Let's see if you can tell which statements are true and which are false. More people use soccer to refer to the sport. False. More people call it football. Basketball is the world's second most popular sport. False. It's actually cricket. American football was created in the 19th century. True. That's been all for today's True or False. Let's take it back to the studio. Hello, my name is Abe, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1642, the Canadian city of Montreal was founded. In 1765, Montreal was destroyed by fire. In 1775, the U.S. failed to capture Montreal. This has been Today in History for May 18th, 2018. Now, let's take it back to the studio. Something that makes someone a good person is how they care for others. Being nice and not rude makes someone a good person. Someone is a good person when they're generous to you. Being kind to someone makes someone a good person. Something that makes someone a good person is their kindness. The thing that makes someone a good person is sticking up for others. A good person is when somebody helps another person. Being a good person means sticking up for anybody you think is being bullied. A good person means you treat everybody fairly, no matter what they're like. Someone is a good person when they are nice to other people. Hi, I'm Akshaya, and I'm on Team Y. Three words that best describe me is empathetic, funny, and happy. My favorite hobby outside of school is dance and singing because it's fun. My favorite subject in school is science because I like experiments. I want to be a programmer when I grow up. Hi, my name is Cassidy. And here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What happens to a frog when its car breaks down? It gets towed away. What did the duck say when it bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. And until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Hi, my name is John, and welcome to the segment of improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is delude. Delude is a verb. Delude is defined as to fool, deceive, to mislead utterly. Trick and hoodwink are synonyms for delude. Delude, can you use it today? The sentence delude can be used like this. Don't delude yourself into thinking that you'll become a famous pianist.